ladies and gentlemen, hey, I'm sorry, this is a great day. It's a great day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So it certainly is. I just wanted to let you know that as of today, and you guys really need to understand something, as of today, the Federal Reserve and the Federal Reserve Board have not responded. Now, hold on now. Let me show y'all what we did because they smarter than me, and I don't know why I let them be smarter than me. Hey, the September 3rd, 2024, it says the following. Look at that. It was delivered. It certainly was. It was delivered at 9-11 a.m. on the 15th of August. Now, what was this document that they picked up from the postal facility? Well, this document was the request, and look, a fish picked it up. Man, I told you them fishes be hopping up out of water and be coming and getting their mail. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, this was the request for a clerk's default. Now, a clerk's default is different than a default judgment. A default entered by the clerk must then be entered as a judgment by the court. But a default by the clerk is good enough to get the judge to say, nope, you didn't respond, click default judgment. Well, they had a certain amount of days to respond to the request for default. Go ahead and check it out whenever y'all get the chance. They done defaulted in that too. That's two defaults in a row. Oh, and by the way, this one didn't need no clerk's signature. This one is exactly that. And they ain't going to respond because they think they got the upper hand. Okay? They think they got the upper hand. Well, they don't have no upper hand because both the Federal Reserve Board and the Federal Reserve got served. All right. Now, hold on. Let me tell y'all. Now, that, this is why I was laughing. Let, let me explain this to y'all. Y'all don't mind if I explain something real quick. It ain't going to take long. All right. Look, ladies and gentlemen, when you are in a situation like this, when the clerks of the court are supposed to sign a document and they refuse, that's right, they certainly did refuse, say they were going to take it under review. No, you don't take a document under review. We following that, and we got our signature, and we paying the filing fee. You don't take it under review, but they didn't sign it then. Guess what they didn't do? They didn't sign it afterwards either. To this day, they haven't signed the subpoenas, nor have they put their stamp on it. Well, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Because the post office operates as a registered agent. You see, they they waive their right to put personal service by allowing, hold on now, let me show y'all again, allowing for their electronic signature. Pay attention. They have permitted their electronic signature. This is the agent who authorized their electronic signature. This is in lieu of public service, I mean personal service. Why? Because this is on file with the Postal Service. They just put the signature on it, on all the documents that came in that day. See, this thing, was, this thing wasn't that light. It was two ounces. Show enough, Shogun. Okay? So, because they allow that, ladies and gentlemen, I know it says BOAR, B-O-A-R. That's because that that's that uh, label thing, but I put D on it. Pay attention. I wrote D on the label to make sure there was no mistake. Just need y'all to understand. And we, we ain't making no mistakes like that. All right. Just so that y'all get it. I, I purposely did that. Okay. Purposely. Because I knew that it did not add it. I'll, I'll go back in there and correct that on the label. I just now realizing that that's the stupidity of the system. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Just so that you understand, they will go into court and they will tell the court, Your Honor, I think you should dismiss this and the court's going to dismiss it. Okay, $400 billion. Oh, remember, all banks in the United States are membered banks of the Federal Reserve. Go ahead and look up what Federal Reserve, Reserve Bank means. Go ahead and look up what Federal Reserve Bank means. You can do it under Title 12, Section 201. Okay. It could be section 102. Wait, 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 wait. We going to do this, y'all. We going to do this. We going right here. And that's the Banking Act of that's that 21st Banking Act. Let's do we going to go back one more. One more. Okay. Now this is Title 12. So we going to do Let's just make sure 01. So I tell y'all the right thing. I can't give y'all wrong information. Short title. That's it. Title 201. All right. Right here. Short title. And look what it's going to explain. 
See, that's short title. Let's go to the next one. Two zero point point one two three. Okay, short titles. Now look, it says the subchapter bank means any national banking association and blah blah blah. But you know what it also means? It also means something else. Hold on now. Let's let's do this. We got to go one more so that y'all can see what bank means. That's two zero two oh two. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Sorry. I apologize. I gotta I gotta go back. So give me one second to get it right. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't two zero one. That's the conservative act. That's okay. It's actually pretty good because it has the same definitions at the beginning. Woo wee. And if you look at the FDIC, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation Act. Okay, that has the very same section of definitions. It says the word bank. Now, this is a word up here. Okay, it's a word. Pay attention. There's a difference between a word and a term. The word bank, as used in this act, shall be held to include any state bank association trust, except where national banks and Federal Reserve banks are specifically referred to. The Federal Reserve Bank or a national bank. Okay, hold on. Right here. Pay attention. The term national bank and national bank and association are synonymous. But the term, the term, not a word, the term membered bank shall be held to include all national banks, state banks, and banks. Now, remember, this is anyone engaged in the business of banking. Don't take my word for it. Go look it up. So y'all need to understand this. This is very important. Operating as a bank is not difficult. That's why we used to give children piggy banks. Why? Because everybody is a banker. All you have to do is be engaged in banking business. Oh no, y'all, y'all just don't believe me. I know I can hear it back there in the back of the crowd. Let's uh, make this smaller, and let's get on down here to the president. Let's let the president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Franklin, tell him. As used in this order, the term banking institution shall include all banks. Uh oh, don't stop there and persons engaged in the business of receiving deposits making loans discounting business paper and transacting any form other form of banking business anyone transacting any type of banking business i don't care if you're playing monopoly you're called a bank i don't care if you loan money to your mother sister brother uncle cousin niece nephew you are a bank pay attention that's the definition every act that talks about what a bank is it says something similar banking business all you got to do is be conducting banking business all right ladies and gentlemen since the federal reserve and the federal banks and all state banks and all banks are under the supervision of the federal reserve bank and the federal reserve board we didn't have to serve all of the banks we only needed to serve the principal Notice the agent is a principle of law. You don't have to say notice the agent is notice the principle and notice the principle is notice the agent. The people who do that, when they repeat it that way, you can tell they don't know the law. If you have to repeat it both times, both ways, vice versa, then you don't know law. You're only repeating something you heard, regurgitating. Okay, stop throwing up all over the place. Notice the agent is a principle. It's called the law of agency. It's a principle. And so all you got to do is serve the principle. I served the principle, slapped him right up tight his head because he didn't give us lunch in time. Hey, got to go. Y'all take care, all right?